In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make simulator pets in Blender for Roblox Studio. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So, the first thing you want to do once you get into a new Blender file is go to Add, Mesh, and Add a Cube. Then, go to the Modifiers tab, add the Bevel Modifier. Okay, so this is the base, this is like the torso of your pet. From here, we can add some legs, and all you want to do is just click on your cube that you already have, <clears throat> press Shift D to duplicate, and now scale this down. I like to do 0.25, and just click here right here to the X axis, and I'm gonna scoot it down and move it over to the side, about negative 0.45. If you guys are new to Blender, make sure to check out my beginner's guide on how to use Blender. But next, go into tab and switch to the face select mode. And I'm just doing this so that I can extend it. Actually, you don't even need to do all this. You can Bruh. just press S, Z, and scale it up to make it as long as you want. And so now, you can just adjust it. All right, so this should be good for one of our legs. And so now, all you need to do is just do the same process with four different legs. So I'm just gonna keep this same leg and duplicate it a few times. Okay, now that we have the legs done, let's move on to the face. So when you're making the faces using pets, you actually have two options. The first option is to use images as textures for the face, and that allows you to make more unique looking faces so I'll pop some examples up on the screen right now but for this tutorial since we're using blender I'm gonna use blender to create the face features so for example I'm gonna use like a cylinder to create the eyes so first thing we're gonna do is add a cylinder okay so once you add in your cylinder scale it down I like to do 0.25 and then from here instead of duplicating I'm gonna add a mirror modifier and make sure that you add this modifier before you move it off to the side. Because this is a quick side note, but if you guys don't know how the mirror modifier works, it mirrors based off of where the origin is. So the origin is a little orange dot right here. So once you apply the mirror modifier, from there you can move your objects in edit mode. And that way you can see it. Okay, now that you have your mirror modifier, you can move it out to the front real quick. I'm just gonna scale it down. From here, you can move it up. And so at this point, make sure, since you're using a mirror modifier, that you move your object in edit mode. So I just press tab, grab, and move on the Y axis. And so I actually switch the axis to the Y axis. And so now, you can see you have your two eyes. But they look weird. So we're gonna tweak them just a little bit. So I'm just gonna scale up. Okay, and just for details, I'm gonna actually duplicate these. Six and a half hours later. I'm not gonna lie, this guy still kinda looks a little ugly. Bruh. So next thing that we're gonna add is some ears. So once again, duplicate the main body and <coughs> just move it up. Now I'm gonna scale it down to X to about 0.1 and then scale in the Y. And so these are gonna be our ears. So we can just move this forward. So what we're gonna do for the ears is go into edit mode and use control R to put a loop cut down the center, okay? And so from here, we'll be able to switch to edge mode and press the first one and press control and select the other and then press G Z and so what this does is you're pulling up the ear to make it look more like the ear so this should be about good up. and another thing I like to do is I like to inset the faces so to do that all you need to do is just press on the, these two faces in the front press I and what this does is it'll make it go like in. and if yours isn't looking like mine just press I again and so from here I'm just gonna press G X to move the ears in and now 
We got ears. Yeah. I actually want to scale them up a little bit. It's okay. And just for detail purposes, we can tilt them out a little bit. So from here, we can add a little. Now we can just play around, really. We can add whatever we like. So we can add a little nose to it. So add mesh. I'm gonna use Icosphere just to make it less polys. This down. Give a little nose. Just like that. So now we have a little nose. And now it's starting to look a lot more like a like a rabbit. But the whole point of these simulator pets is they're very simplistic. So just a few tweaks and you can change it. Like the image I showed in the beginning, that was a pig. Now we have a bunny right here. So it's pretty simple to just play around with what you're making. Okay, so this should be good for the modeling. But like I said before, these are supposed to be very simplistic. So depending on what you're going for, you could add something simple like a little, maybe like a little arm, just using one of these legs. You could add a tail using a, a long cylinder. Uh, if you wanted some sort of dragon type or bird type, you could add wings. So it's a lot to play around with. So now that we're finished, uh, we can go ahead and color this. So let's go over here to the materials property. So Q, new. And my biggest suggestion to, if you're using Blender for Roblox Studio, make sure that you always are using texture paint. That way, when you cross it over to Roblox Studio, unless you plan on coloring it in Roblox Studio, color it in Blender using texture painting. So if you want a full guide on that, Check out one of my tutorials. In the future, I might make an updated version of that. But if you don't know how to texture paint, I'm gonna show you right now. So, go over here to this yellow dot next to base color and change it to image texture. From here, open up a color palette file. So if you don't have one already, you can either just go on Google and search one up or I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Okay, once you select your color palette, make sure you also switch to the viewport shading mode. And so now you can see that there's a color palette on your character. So from here, go up to where it says UV editing. And now press Z and also switch to material preview. Now, over on the left hand side of your screen on the color palette, select A, S, 0. What this does is it merges all the faces and vertices of your mesh into one single vertice. That way you can move it to whatever color you want. So, since we're doing a bunny, we can do a light brown color. Okay, so I just finished coloring in the pet. And so as you can see, it's a very simple design. So, this is very easy to replicate, to use on other pets, such as a pig, dragon, whatever else you want to make. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below any video ideas that you guys have. Also, make sure to check out the Discord server and my Twitter in the description down below. So, with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.